Hi everyone, I'm Noah Lechek. Welcome back to NFL Network. I'm here alongside with Harube and Liam Becker. Today we're going to have some three amazing, great topics about the NFL. Let's start uh, first off with uh, the top running backs. Yeah, uh, your best pick, uh, Haru. Who do you think is um, the best running back going to be? This the year? best running back. I'm probably going to go with. Um, let's see. Probably David Johnson. He's coming back off of an injury, and I think he just really want. I ju- I just think he's kind of frustrated, and that he really wants to have a breakout year. I like the choice, Haru. Uh, Liam, what about you? I'm not trying to be biased here, but I think one of the best would probably be Sony Michelle. He's really young. He had a great season last season. He had a couple of big plays in the playoffs, clutch for them. And he's really young, and he has a great future. Okay, I'm going to have to agree on that. I don't think Michelle has even put his name up there yet. I mean, he did have that one touchdown in the Super Bowl against the Rams, but I don't think he's going to put his name on there. What do you have to say about that, Haru? Uh, Sonny Michelle, he's uh, young, and um, he, has potential. He, he has potential, but I don't know if he can, like, be, like, um, a top um, running back, which you have to see what happens this year. All right, my pick for running back, um, I actually got to meet this guy and I got to talk with him. Um, he's a really great running back, has so much, so much potential. I'm going to go with Christian McCaffrey. I think he, he's ha- he has a lot of speed. He's great. He can catch. He can run. I think he's going to have a breakout year like he did last year with the Panthers. Okay, moving on. Um, Liam, I'm going to go with you first about best wide receiver. For wide receiver, um, no. Um, so this is a tough one. I think I'm not gonna go Julian Edelman. So. Yeah. Okay, good. Um. So for wide receiver, maybe um Jarvis Landry, Odell, or A. B. Because um Antonio Brown, after coming off the um season with the Steelers, really didn't want to be there. Roethlisberger like. Didn't, never threw to him when he was open. He had complaints about him. That it just wasn't good chemistry there. Yes. And um, now that he's with Derek Carr, um, I think that um, Carr will use him more often. And for Odell and Landry, Mayfield, we all know Mayfield, after the first season that we saw him, he likes to throw deep, and that's what A.B. and Jarvis Landry do. Or, sorry, or um, Odell and Jarvis Landry do. Um, so I think it's going to be a good season for the Browns. Okay, uh, Haru, do you have first, do you have anything to rebuttal on that? Or do you I got to go with um, Juju Smith-Schuster. Ooh, that's, that's, I love that pick. Yeah, that's because pick. He, he was kind of shadowed by Antonio Brown um, with the Steelers. And now since Antonio Brown's leaving, he had a great year last year, and I think he just um, is going to have a great year again. Haru, you brought up a really good person. Um, I have to see, so I got like three people on my mind. You just brought up Juju Smith to me. Um, I have DeAndre Hopkins just being out there, making so many great, amazing catches. He has Deshaun Watson out there. The thing I have to rebuttal against you, Liam, is that Derek Carr, I don't think he can throw the football as well to get it down to Antonio Brown. Yeah, because usually he throws like five, Mm -hmm. ten yards. But but for Baker Mayfield and the Browns, Jarvis Landry and Odell, Baker Mayfield loves to throw deep to them. Yeah, would so, love to throw deep yeah, to them. Yeah, I honestly think Odell's going to have a good year, and so is Jarvis Landry. Much better than Baker Mayfield. Yes, and uh, for me, I also have Michael Thomas on my radar, too. Just having probably one of the best quarterbacks of all time, Drew Brees, out there with him, it's just it's he's going to also have a breakout year. All right, our last and final third topic. What do you think has, um, Haru, starting out with you, Defensive team, what do you think is going to make itself out there? Defensive team. I got to go with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay. Because they have Jalen Ramsey, mm-hmm. Calais Campbell, and all this other place. They have a great defensive line, and I just think that they're going to have a great defense. All right, uh, Liam, what about you, defensive side? You see, if the Rams still had an Adamica Sue and um, some of their best cornerbacks, I would pick them. But um, I think I have to go with um, probably Jacksonville again because 
Jacksonville, as you said, Jalen Ramsey. He came off one of his. He came off possibly his best year in his career when the Jags lost in the AFC Championship, and I think Jalen Ramsey, after last year, um, going um, like having a bad season, I think he's hungry and ready to come back, like he was in the AFC Championship. Um, uh, all right, so as you can see, I'm a Bears fan. I have to go with the Bears. Don't mean to be biased, but Khalil Mack, Will Fuller, Akeem Hicks, Eddie Goldman. I mean, all those guys, Eddie Jackson. I know, and they also added HaHa ha Clinton Dix. And, you know, almost, they lost almost, but that team has it all. I mean, yeah. Khalil Mack is up there with Aaron Donald, really close, and it's, it's a good – it's a good matchup between them. I also, I have the Rams in my mind. They are a great defensive team. But like Liam said, they did lose a couple of their good players. But, I mean, they did they did get um, the guy from the Packers, uh, Clay Matthews. So, I mean, you, you'll see what they come out. Um, well, I think Clay season. Matthews is offensive, right? No, he's defensive. Oh, yeah. Uh, middle linebacker. His whole family's defensive. Yeah, so I have to go with the Bears. And, you know, uh, seeing what they did last year, what the potential they have. So, they're like, they're, they did amazing last, well, they did pretty great uh, last year, except for Cody Parkey. But, um, you know, now that this team knows what they're going to do, I think they have a great chance. And speaking, they only gave up, what, 15 points against yeah. a great Eagles team? Mm -hmm. Yep. Just amazing. All right, so that does it for our NFL show. Um, I'm Noah Lechuk. I'm Arube. And I'm Liam Becker. Thank you for, for watching NFL Network.